Yeah. Right on. What makes it unique? Um, Andy's here to talk about uh, some of his hard goods. <laughs> Andy designs a lot of the, the real small items that you see on a bike, you know, even down to your bottle cages and computers, um, all that sort of stuff that uh, kind of gets overlooked. But if you do pay attention to it, some of it is a lot more clever than others. And it's worth kind of looking next time you're around, see what's out there. Um, if you come across anything that Andy's made, it's probably got a bit more thought and soul in it. So let's check out something that he's been up to this year and what makes it unique. So we'll start off with this new tool that we designed for the Epic. And we found that, you know, while the Epic rider can really benefit from this tool, it's something that we could actually mount to the bottom of our new Z cages. Right, so that's bolted to the cage. Bolts to the cage, super rigid, just slides in and locks in place. Nice positive snap. But you look at this tool and you go, hmm, you know, that, that's a pretty basic tool. Well, no, it's not. This thing, in order to make it small enough, we had to uh, laser cut the out of plate each of these little bits. And then after they were cut, we actually had to find a way to put the hex on this thing so that it would never strip out a bolt. So we have a lathe that spins at a 10,000 RPM and we have a secondary cutter that spins at 10,000 RPM that's just perfectly timed to cut each of these flats on here. So we have really tight control on the whole thing. But then check this out. This will probably be the first time you'll see a four millimeter wide, eight millimeter bit. This guy was designed to be super slim, so everything gets really tight. But we needed to make this thing super strong. So we actually made it so that it was strong enough to go one and a half times SRAM's requirement to crank down a bottom bracket. And yet, only four millimeters wide, so it doesn't really take up any space. Where's the chain breaker? Well, yeah, you notice there's a piece missing here. And, well, we wanted to keep this tool as small as possible. And we wanted to think about where are the other places you could hide a tool on your bike. So you got this under your bottle cage. Why don't you put it up into your top cap? So this chain breaker right here will sit down in, and it just becomes a standard compression cap. You take your tool, you unbolt it, thread it out, and you'll notice under here you can ha you can put your quick links in there. Even has a magnet in there so that when you're breaking your chain, it won't they won't fall on the ground and get lost. You flip this lever up, it just gives you a little extra leverage. Pull this thing back, put it in your chain. And there you go. You just crank it down, break your chain. It's just a chain breaker. Just you want to break that chain and then you use your quick links to fix it up. And then once you're done, goes right back in your stirrer tube, saves the day whenever else you need it, but it's away, it never bothers you, it doesn't rattle, it doesn't anything, and you pull it out just when you need it. Andy, that's as unique as they come, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you.